Okay, quick update. This is section 5, page 12, under O2 sensor signal wire bias voltage testing, where we're using a scan tool to do our tests. What we're doing in this one is we are disconnecting the sensor, watching for the bias voltage to change, and in this one we are taking that signal wire and grounding it, again, looking for the scan data signal voltage or bias to change. And something that I don't have written in here that I think is important to know is if the engine is not running and you do these tests on some cars, especially older ones, the computer may not update that data parameter. So you could be looking at the computer, looking at the scan tool, and it says O2 millivolts and you're reading 450, and you do this, say this test over here where you're grounding that circuit out, the voltage on the circuit's actually dropping to zero, but the computer's not updating that data parameter because there's no RPM signal. There's no reason for the computer to be looking at the O2 sensor with the engine off. And so in some cases, on some cars, you need to have the engine running or you need to crank it over. So the note here that I think that we should, should add is that um, if you're doing this test, you may need to crank the engine or have it running for a data PID update. And that could really throw you for a loop if you're doing this test and you see no reaction, you're going to start thinking you have a wiring problem and you're going to chase this thing. And when, it, when in reality what you had is you were doing this key on engine off with no RPM signal and the computer wasn't updating the data parameter. It's just another variable that you need to think about when you're doing this test and I wanted to make sure that everybody knew about that.